guys, I'm Anissa and I'm back with another video. Today I want to share with you a check-in, reading check-in, Monday reads uh, thing um, where I'm talking about the books that I've been working on over the past week, what I've been reading, what I'm reading this week and stuff like that. I haven't done a video in ages so I apologize if I seem rusty because I probably will be. Um, I've had some really hectic months um, as well as in July especially, I was very um, slumpy, so I ended up not really reading anything, at least not a lot. Um, but I did read quite a bit in June, and I don't think I've posted a, a wrap-up video since mid-May, so I'm hoping that I'm able to add a wrap-up kind of video soon where I'll talk about briefly about all the books that I have been talking about like a couple of sentences about each of them so you can know what I've been reading and what I thought of them um yeah my cat is a little over all over the place <laughs> which is business as usual um so I'm happy to say that at least it seems my reading mojo has come back at least I finished three books last week so that's definitely very fine. They were all audios, um, but I have been working steadily on some ebooks as well. So let's uh, talk a little bit about the books that I did finish last week. Um, the first one I finished was Finlay Donovan is Killing It by so something Cosimano, I think. I forgot her name. Um, El Cosimano, is that it? Uh, this is the first in a sort of mystery series. It follows Finlay Donovan, who um, is an author. She writes romantic suspense. She has a son and she is um, divorced or at least not together with the father of the baby anymore. Um, but she's fighting a sort of custody battle because um, yeah, uh, he doesn't think that she can be able to provide for the son when she only has like this romantic suspense like as an author and she does, he doesn't think that she has any money but then someone comes by and asks her to help murdering someone for her she doesn't really want to but um, in, in exchange for a lot of money um, but ends up actually uh, taking up the job and um, she ends up actually accidentally I guess killing uh, the person and um, then yeah, as a thing goes along, she goes deeper and deeper into this, and uh, in this world of where um, there's a mafia gang, like cheap type of people, um, trying to uh, sort of yeah, who's doing a lot of bad things, and she starts digging into that, and uh, uh, the deeper she gets into it, the more dangerous she's in herself, and there's a detective who is showing some interest in her and in this case as well so she has to sort of be careful with what she tells them and there's a lot of other things going on in this one I really enjoyed it I was very much looking forward to it because a lot of people have been raving about this one really enjoying it so I hope at least that, that I will agree with it but I didn't know where I'd fall on it obviously um, but I ended up really listening to this one in like a couple of days a couple of sittings I really enjoyed it and can't wait to move on in the series um, so I definitely enjoyed it and I actually ended up giving it 5 out of 5 stars. So I'm very, very happy with the, the beginning of my reading this month. The next book that I, fi uh, that I picked up was Live and Let Chai by Brie Baker. Brie Baker is a pseudonym of Julianne Lindsay or it's the other way around. I'm a, I'm a little unsure of it but it's definitely the same author. Um, this is the first book in a cozy mystery series and um, another one that I really enjoyed. It follows um, this girl who has opened up this uh, small place, uh, tea shop, cafe kind of thing, and someone is murdered and has been poisoned to uh, apparently due to her tea, so she's immediately uh, pulled up as a suspect, but um, she hasn't done it obviously, and so she's go going to try and see if she can't find clear it out herself, like a general cozy mystery thing going on here and I end up really enjoying it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I definitely have come to enjoy uh, Brie Baker's writing style and um, looking forward to moving on with her cozy mysteries as well as romances. So um, yeah, end up giving this one four and five stars. 
The last thing that I read and probably my least favorite of the week was Cupcakes at Carrington's by Alexandra Brown. I started this like mid-June, the beginning of June, um, as I was going around at home. Um, it follows this woman who is um, working at this uh, place called Carrington's. Carrington's is this like big um, department store kind of thing where um, sort of like I think Macy's or Blooming Bloomingdale's or something like that in New York, uh, where the, there are all of these different type of stores in there, uh, as well as cafes and stuff. Uh, ha has this job of selling purses, and she's a sort of personal personal shopper thing for very rich people. And um, someone comes in to like a new boss kind of thing comes in trying to. Who has to um, change things around there um, and so it, she's looking over everyone's things and um, it's instantly worries Georgie who um, is trying her best uh, to not lose her job because she has like zero money she's trying to make ends meet and stuff at the same time she is so she has two men that sort of <laughs> showing interest in her and she doesn't know who to pick and stuff overall it didn't really Meet my I don't know I don't know what I expected I don't think I expected it to really enjoy it because um, I've sort of grown out of the me wanting to read these type of books like chiclets and stuff um, but I also don't think it was as good as other of the same genre like Sophie Kinsella and stuff which I think it's in the same category but it doesn't really deliver in that way but I ended up giving it a three out of five stars it's not like I hated it or anything but there are some Things that I didn't super care for and it was a bit predictable a lot of places so yeah but I yeah three out of five stars but at least I'm very happy with how my reading is going um, some other things some of the things that I've been working on over the past week has been a couple of ebooks I have been reading from uh, the second book in the Sullivan series called From This Moment On by Bella Andre I am about halfway through it and it's sort of okay I think um, this is one of the, uh, those books that I think is going to be a three to a three and a half stars, depending on how it goes on in the next half. Um, but it's not like I'm hating it or anything, it's just not my favorite thing. So I yesterday I started on the next Harlequin Presents. I started this vlog of reading the Harlequin Presents book in the beginning of July, I think. Um, but I never got around to really reading anything. I ended up finishing the first one, the 31st of July. Um, so yeah, yesterday I picked up the second book in in that and that was a Cersei and a Sexy Stranger and I think I'm 28, 25 to 28 percent into it now and um, it's fine it's I, I like it better than the first one I read so at least I'm happy about that um, so those are the two things that I've been reading from last week I'm listening to Timura by Naomi Novik I'm super super happy I picked this up because I think I'm in the mood for some fantasies. I have re read so many uh, I either YA fantasies, not that there's anything wrong with that, but that's a, it's a different kind of thing. Um, but I've been looking forward to reading some adult fantasy. I haven't read that in a long time, and I've really enjoyed the audio so far. This is so different from other books. I've also been told this, that there's um, it's like two different authors writing this and her um, uprooted and stuff books. Um, this is definitely the best thing I've read from her at this point so far. We're following, um, I forgot his name, but he gets a dragon egg and out of this dragon egg comes Tamara, who is the dragon. And sort of there's this bond happening between these two characters, these two creatures, like the human and the dragon. And I am really enjoying the dynamics between them and I really enjoy how the dragon's voice in this one. Um, Dragon stories actually don't always work for me, but in this way, this one is so far has been work, working really well for me. I'm further on than this. I don't know how far because I didn't get around to find my spot yesterday, but I figure I'm like maybe somewhere around here. Um, I'm not sure. Another audio that I'm listening to is Cowboy Seal Homecoming by Nicole Helm. This is the first book in a series by Nicole Helm. I read another book by Nicole Helm, which is uh, was a Harlequin intrigue. I really love that one. I gave it five stars. So I was very excited to pick this one up. Um, so far it's not as good, but I'm enjoying it still. So it's not as good as that, um, but I'm still enjoying it. So 
that's good. And the last thing that I'm hoping to pick back up again, I haven't really touched it in a couple of weeks, is Sword, and Dark Sword of Darkness by Kelly McGregor, which is also a very nice child in Kenyon. And I am buddy reading this with Shannon, but we haven't touched this in a month. And it's probably mostly due to me, so I definitely need to check out in with Shannon and let her know that I will be really able to start back up again because I feel bad about this, but I really haven't been in a reading mood at all. And I've had a lot of things going on in July, both. Um, yeah, I never really read a lot when I have summer vacations. Um, but then there was also these other things that happened that made me, um, yeah, <laughs> wanting to be emotionally elsewhere, <laughs> um, in the beginning of the month at least. Um, so yeah, that's sometimes what happens. But yeah, these are the things that I'm currently working on in my most recent reads. Um, I'm hoping to finish up the Harlequin Percents, maybe start a new one, um, so that I can finish up that vlog and have it up for you soon. Um, and then I'm hoping to obviously, as I said, move on with um, Soul of Darkness, even though I'm not super enjoying that one. I am hoping that I can actually get far into Temeraire, and I don't know about my other, other audios. I'm sort of... Uh, picking audios from a wheel that's actually how i've been doing it over the month and it's been very fine but i'm only i still only have books that i really want to read so it's a fun way of of adding uh, books to your tbr and still keeping it a little bit random um i still have both have structure as well as having some randomness into it um so yeah i've been enjoying that over the past of over the past weeks um so yeah uh, starting back at work has been a little bit rough but it means the, the fact that I'm getting to a normal um, days again it means that I am finally back on my reading um, as I did in June. June was actually as I said very very good for me. I think I read 14 or 15 books so that was definitely great. Um, July I think I read four books total so it's definitely a very different um, month for me um, but yeah at least I'm off to a good start for August and hopefully it will be a success. I hope you've all been doing well as over the summer days and that you're still here because <laughs> I haven't lived up to my channel's uh, kind of needs over the past couple of months. At least at least I was um, hoping, I've always kind of want in my head to be able to uh, upload at least one, maybe two videos um, a week, even, even if Especially also due to like algorithm stuff. Um, the way that I've been posting videos over the past year has definitely not been good for my own personal channel growth at all. It would have been better if I could stick to my own old schedules. I actually used to be able to upload two to three times a week. Um, if I upload something in the weekends, it it almost never gets any views. So I definitely need to be aware of when I post my videos because otherwise I really don't get any views. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I went on off on a tangent there. Um, I hope you're doing well, as I said, and this is everything I had for you today. Let me know in the comments down below if you've been reading, reading anything exciting recently, and if so, what did you read? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm really excited to hear about what you've been up to. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video very soon. Goodbye.